Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. Get ready for an electrifying journey that will keep you on the edge of your seat with your heart racing in ways beyond imagination. Are you geared up for the excitement? Let's plunge right in. As always, we start off the day's episode with something quite odd. Just take a look at the capture. Did you see it? There's an ape-like creature hiding behind a tree. The creature looks at least seven to eight feet tall and has black fur all over it. Despite having fur from head to toe, its posture and stance are eerily human. Why is it hiding, you ask? Well, if I looked like that and lived near humans and knew what they were like, I'd hide too. But what is it really? If you're a long-time subscriber of this channel, then you should already know the answer. But for those of you who don't know, that's the legendary Bigfoot. Like all Bigfoot captures before this one, no one knows where the creature came from or whence it disappeared to. Despite being a known wonder, these creatures still remain a mystery to us. It's no doubt that many are skeptical of their existence. But what do you think? Is this real or is it just an elaborate hoax? Share your thoughts with us. Next, we have this trail cam capture that looks like the stuff of Horus. I mean, take a good look at the capture. What does it look like? If you were to ask me, I'd tell you it looks like those killer clowns from all those horror movies we watch. But is it though? Well, apparently not. Prepare for the shock of your life. Would you believe me if I told you that what you see before you is no clown? Would you believe me if I told you that what you're basically looking at is the bottom of a deer's neck? Don't think so? Take a good look again. Moving from top to bottom, you see the bottom part of the deer's head with hair, and as you progress lower, you realize that you're essentially going down the neck of the deer connecting to its body. Do you see it? Or are we the ones imagining things? Tell us what you think. Next, we have this odd and confusing set of trail cam captures. Before I say too much, just take a look at these captures. In the first shot, it looks like a picture of an object with a lot of light on it. The next shots show otherwise, though, that it looks like the light is moving from one point to the other. Weird, right? Are those paranormal humanoids made of light? If they are, this is a first for us. We did cross-check our paranormal database and couldn't find anything. If you've ever encountered one of these, leave a description for us in the comments section. We'd be reading. Until then, we're tempted to lean toward the possibility of it being a computer-generated image, or that there's a logical explanation for it. But what say you? Next, we have footage that we're still scratching our heads about. Perhaps you could shed some light on it. In the footage, we see an object rotating in the sky in a circular fashion. It begins slowly and gradually picks up speed and altitude. It's like something out of a movie, you know, with metahumans controlling objects using their minds, telekinesis. But telekinesis isn't real right? Considering the strange phenomena we've encountered on this channel, well, maybe we shouldn't dismiss the possibility outright. Who knows, what we're witnessing might be the physical manifestation of some ethereal being in our plane. It's hard to say for sure, but what do you think? We would like to hear your thoughts. The mystery continues with this next capture. Taken by a Bigfoot researcher, this image was believed to be an authentic and groundbreaking picture of the creature. Upon first glance, the picture doesn't reveal much. It bears a resemblance to other Bigfoot images found on the internet. However, the main distinguishing factor is that this one appears to capture the creature from its back in high resolution. The interesting bit about this image is the copyright war and the claims surrounding it. Numerous individuals, aside from the original photographer, have used the image as if it was their own, leading to legal disputes and the original uploader filing a lawsuit. Despite the legal actions, the court ultimately dismissed the case, rendering it inconsequential. 
If the picture is truly of no value and lacks authenticity, why would there be such a commotion surrounding it? Unless, of course, it genuinely depicts an actual Bigfoot. What do you think? If the way the video look confuses you, it's only because you're seeing thermal footage of a camera situated in the woods. The video captures a creature initially crouched in the grass, moving slowly and later standing on its two feet, locking its gaze onto the camera. What creature is it? The thing is, no one knows. Members of the paranormal community believe it's a Bigfoot, as it ticks all the boxes. But here's where things get complicated. Some skeptics believe the footage is nothing but a hoax, suggesting that it could simply be a person in a costume. Naturally, this has led to a heated debate among both parties. But what do you think? Is this the real deal, or are we dealing with an elaborate hoax? Share your thoughts in the comments section. What do you expect to see when you set up a trail camera in the wild? Wildlife, right? Then what is this? Do you see it? Even though the video is blurry and dark, if you look closely, you'll notice some humanoid figures moving in the darkness. Naturally, when this was uploaded, different individuals had different thoughts and ideas about what it could be. The paranormal community thought we could be dealing with skinwalkers or some alien species, but the logical and scientific community described the idea as laughable and trashed it. Even after our own examination, we couldn't reach a unanimous conclusion about the being's identity. So we're turning to you. What do you believe you are seeing? Tell us in the comments section. Do you believe in spirits? Did you just answer no? Well then, how on earth do you explain this? Check it out. A translucent or transparent being darting across the frame of a trail camera. Spooky, right? Imagine setting up your trail camera to capture wildlife and then, bam, this unexpected visitor shows up. We've got to admit, something's definitely off in the footage. But you know what's even more puzzling? We can't figure out what it is. It's like chasing shadows in the dark. You know, something's there, but it eludes your grasp. Could it be a hoax, a well-crafted trick to play with our minds? Or is it something else, something beyond our comprehension tapping into the supernatural? Tell us what you think in the comments section. Next, we have this creature that was spotted in a river in a mountainous area. This furry creature has its back turned to the camera, standing in the river with its upper torso above the water. Reportedly, the river is around five or six feet deep, making the creature remarkably tall to be so visible in the water. The uploader of the footage believes it's Bigfoot, and based on what we see, we can't dispute it. According to locals, numerous Bigfoot sightings have occurred in the vicinity, and what you're witnessing on your screen is just one of them. Though we'd love to embrace the idea of this being Bigfoot, it's hard not to notice that it appears slightly slimmer and lankier compared to previous Bigfoot sightings. Is this truly a Bigfoot, perhaps a feminine one, or are we simply dealing with an elaborate hoax to garner views? Share your thoughts with us. Next is this luminous being that was caught on a trail cam. These peculiar beings have been spotted on trail cameras. Well, if we can even call them creatures. Often they appear rather small, sometimes resembling large insects, which has led to the speculations about their possible origin as alien insects. Enthusiastic UFO researchers refer to them as rods, simply because they resemble elongated shapes with spheres propelling their movements. Sadly, we only have a still image and not a video, so you won't be able to see it in motion. The real kicker? Despite various sightings, no one has been able to identify or capture one of these beings. What's intriguing is that they consistently appear on trail cameras only to vanish without leaving a trace. Certain skeptics suggest it might be a falling leaf or feather, but let's be honest, it looks nothing like either. So, could it be some alien insect or some other kind of paranormal phenomenon? Or is there a logical explanation to these shots? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. 
It's noon, and an unknown person is recording this video clip. The video clip captures the unknown person's breathing, the sounds of birds tweeting, dogs barking, and the individual's footsteps on the sandy ground, all audibly picked up by the camera. Surrounding the individual are numerous trees, a puddle of water, and a moving stream. Everything seems to be quite ordinary in your typical woods, with the individual recording going about their day as usual. That was at least until his camera zoomed in on an unrecognizable black creature. The creature, whatever it might be, has its back to the camera as it rummages through the trees. Suddenly, it lifts its head, revealing itself. It's not known what it is exactly, but what happens next is surprising. It slowly vanishes into thin air. Considering its size and distance, some might mistake it for a Bigfoot, but its sudden vanishing act leaves us utterly baffled. What was that creature? Is that the ghost of a Bigfoot, or is it some kind of new spirit entirely? Is the video even real at all? Well, it's hard to say, but share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Stepping away from the supernatural, enjoy this footage of a majestic stag. Now, imagine exploring the woods only to be stopped dead in your tracks by something like this. The stag stamps its feet and lets out a powerful snort. As if that weren't intimidating enough, each snort releases steam into the atmosphere. Watching it on screen is already frightening. I can't even imagine being face to face with it. But who can blame it? Its actions are simply a fight or flight response because it feels intimidated. Hopefully, whoever it was left it alone and didn't hunt it down. It will be such a sad end for such a beautiful and magnificent specimen. In the airy month of January 2017, under the cloak of night, a vigilant security personnel caught something extraordinary on camera. Draven, the observer of countless enigmatic events during his night shifts, couldn't believe his eyes when he witnessed this phenomenon. In the shadowy footage, a mysterious glowing object gracefully glides closer to the camera, casting an otherworldly glow that seems to defy the laws of nature and then goes out of frame. Confused by what he was seeing, Draven uploaded the clip online asking the paranormal community for help. Some dubbed it the Spirit Orb, which is a vessel for ethereal entities and ghosts. Others wonder if it holds ancient energies or levitating beings from realms beyond our comprehension. As for my own conjecture, I can't help but wonder if it's an interstellar traveler or an alien spacecraft silently exploring our world, seeking an unknown destination. What do you think? If you thought the previous encounter was odd, brace yourself for the perplexing case of Modo Owens. This intrepid biker, a lover of the great outdoors, captured the footage you are about to witness during one of his daring adventures. As he rode along the trail, he stumbled upon an unsettling sight, scattered bones scattered across the path. But that was just the beginning. He encountered a peculiar tree oddly fallen over, as if marking the entrance to an enigmatic realm. Curiosity got the better of him, but his investigation took an ominous turn when he heard cries for help seemingly coming from nowhere. As he cautiously searched for the source, eerie sounds of twig snapping sent shivers down his spine, compelling him to flee. However, the lure of the mystery proved too strong, and Modo returned to the woods a few days later, determined to delve deeper. The further he ventured, the more bones he found, and the atmosphere grew increasingly sinister, suffocating him with discomfort. The once vibrant forest fell into an uncanny silence devoid of any chirping or natural sounds. In that chilling moment, he caught sight of something unimaginable, a strange creature fixated on him from a distance. Panic surged through him, propelling him to run for his life, fearing the unknown entity might close on him. Our hunch is that it could have been a skinwalker, a being of dark legend capable of mimicking sounds to lure unsuspecting individuals. Surviving this ordeal, Moto was truly fortunate if this eerie encounter is indeed real. But we're dying to know, what do you think?
Is this a genuine account of the supernatural? Have you ever experienced something inexplicable yourself? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Bears indeed have an enchanting charm, but they are wild animals and getting too close can be a grave mistake. Trust us on this one. Never, ever approach a bear in the wild. It could be the last thing you do. Admire these majestic creatures from a safe distance, whether through screens or from afar. If you need convincing, watch this heart-stopping footage captured on the trail cam. In the video, a man finds himself face to face with a bear, and he attempts to escape by climbing a tree. But the determined bear is fixated on its prey, trying to pull him down with its sharp claws and teeth, relentlessly attempting to grab his ankle. It's a fight for survival, a struggle to outlast the ferocious beast. As the man kicks and defends himself, the bear doesn't back down. Instead, it climbs after him, unwilling to give up the chase. The intense tussle continues, but fortunately, after a few tense minutes, the bear loses interest and retreats, leaving the man shaken but alive. He gets another chance at life, but not everyone may be as fortunate. To avoid such life-threatening encounters, never venture into bear-inhabited areas alone or without proper training. Remember, as beautiful as they may seem, to bears, you are just another potential threat or even a meal. So prioritize your safety and that of those magnificent creatures by keeping a safe distance. We start off today's episode with a video from the Saskatchewan River in Canada. If the name does not immediately give it away, trust me when I tell you that the footage features a creature that many have thought existed only in fairy tales. Don't believe me? Watch the footage. The footage you're about to see was captured by a group of friends on a fishing excursion. As with all fishing trips, they were having fun and preparing their baits to catch some fish when all of a sudden they spotted a creature moving merely a few feet away from them. If you pay attention to the right side of the footage, you should see it. Did you? The creature looks like some type of ape-like creature, but appears to be much larger and seems to be effortlessly walking on its two feet, which we all know is something humans and not apes are capable of doing at the moment. Furthermore, the creature was covered in head-to-toe brown fur, adding to its mysterious appearance. We've no idea what it was doing at the riverbank, but one thing is certain, it didn't want anyone seeing it. Unfortunately for it and those at the riverbank, however, it was spotted. Realizing its cover had been blown, it runs for the trees and the individuals at the riverbank, who also didn't understand or know what they were looking at, panicked and also took off. They shared the footage online, convinced that they had seen Bigfoot. Personally, I can't help but find the creature reminiscent of Bigfoot. Just like in classic Bigfoot videos, it showed no real interest in the people present, merely desiring to be left undisturbed. As much as I'm inclined to believe it's the real deal, there's a part of me that remains skeptical, questioning its authenticity. Their reaction seems somewhat unnatural, though it could just be my nitpicking nature. What do you think about the whole thing? The next trail cam footage we have is of something quite bizarre. Believe me when I say we're still trying to wrap our heads around it. Enough talk, allow me to show you instead. Take a look at this family of deer moving deep into the darkness. At first glance, the footage looks like nothing out of the ordinary. But wait a few seconds for the last deer. Right there, behind them. Do you see it? There's a deer following the herd only it's translucent and vanishes into thin air as soon as it gets into frame. This inexplicable occurrence holds the power to challenge even the staunchest skeptic's beliefs regarding the existence of ghosts. The sudden disappearance of the deer raises questions about the supernatural and the possibility of unseen entities inhabiting our world. Such occurrences have often been associated with paranormal phenomena. If you've ever doubted the existence of ghosts, this footage is guaranteed to make you rethink your stance. But I have one question. Could the deer be a departed family member lingering on the cusp of the afterlife, or is it the embodiment of a forest spirit? 
so many mysteries to ponder. Either way, share your thoughts with us. This footage was captured in Vietnam. As you can see, a group of people is standing around the statue of the Virgin Mary. However, if you listen to the audio in the background of the video, you can hear those recording the footage panicking. <laughs> The reason does not become apparent until a few seconds after. Watch the clip. Did you see that? The statue moved. If you know or have seen a statue before, you know that they are not bendable or floppy. Talk less about the statue of the Virgin Mary. It's supposed to be a solid structure, so how did that happen? No one knows, perhaps a miracle of some sort. To some, this will be scary, and to others, it's a miracle. After all, statues coming to life are unheard of. But when they have to do with a religious figure, then you can expect to hear tales of how it's a miracle. Anyone who knows about the Virgin Mary knows she's a strong religious figure to the Catholics. The religion subscribes to the idea and existence of demons, angels, and spirits. Could this be a manifestation of one of those spirits, or is someone simply playing with the hearts and emotions of religious fanatics? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Speaking of angels and spirits, this trail cam footage caught a spectacular sight. As you can see, a deer walks across the field in the middle of the night when all of a sudden a bright light shines, leaving three orbs floating in the footage. As beautiful as this sight is, you have to wonder, what could those orbs be? What was that flash of light? Was it a car passing by? Could it be light from an alien ship? Or is it the manifestation of something paranormal happening in the area? Could they be angels hovering around the area or some other kind of spirit beings? Well, we can't say for sure which it is, but anyone who follows this channel knows that the presence of orbs in such strange circumstances is typically an indication of paranormal activity. When it comes to this footage, however, it's hard to deduce what it was or what could be responsible. What do you think, though? Who or what is that? This being was caught on a trail cam in the forest. It looks to be staring straight at the camera and walking towards it. This creature appears to be a hybrid of a lion, wolf, and human. It has a head of hair that extends to its face like a lion's mane and ears sticking out of the top of its head like a canine. The nose is reminiscent of a human's, albeit wider, and the face has a grotesque appearance. For hands, it has what looks like claws and doesn't look like it would hesitate to use them. I mean, it looks like it could eat me for dinner. Surprisingly, the creature is adorned in what appears to be a gown with pants. While identifying the exact creature is challenging, the presence of human-like clothing suggests a connection to our species. Yet the nature of this connection eludes us as it defies our understanding of known paranormal creatures. Can you help? This footage was taken by a woman who heard a knock at her door and went to check it out. Instead of a human visitor, she was met with this situation right here. An airy-looking deer staring straight at her. While a normal deer would typically flee, this one stood its ground, fixating its gaze on the woman, penetrating her very soul. Filled with terror, the woman hastily closed the door, realizing the animal had a clear intention of entering her house. Could this deer have been possessed, or is it a skinwalker waiting to be invited into harm her? Skinwalkers are known to shapeshift into animals, and the only way to know if an animal you are dealing with is a skinwalker is if the creature acts abnormally, just like this deer is doing. They also try to lure people in by making weird noises or approaching them, which looks exactly like what this deer might have been trying to do. But what do you think about the whole thing? Did the woman dodge a bullet, or are we overthinking everything? Share your thoughts in the comments section. It's the midst of winter, and this footage reveals an intriguing encounter. The footage starts with a bobcat running out of a cave. It leaves you wondering, 
What could make such an apex predator seemingly run for its life? A few seconds later and we have an answer as a coyote appears from nowhere as though it was in pursuit of the bobcat. The chase continues till they are both out of frame. You don't need to be a genius to know that the crafty coyote had intended to eat the bobcat. While bobcats may be able to take on coyotes often, it seems like the one that ran out may have been a cub. Perhaps the coyote realized the routine of the parents and only appeared at the opportune time to have it as a meal while the parents were away. Alas, the coyote's efforts fall short, leaving it disappointed and perhaps with a growling stomach. The scene of the attempted hunt turns into a moment of unfulfilled hunger. This captivating encounter reminds us of the dynamic nature of the animal kingdom, where predators and prey engage in an eternal dance or survival. The resilience and resourcefulness displayed by both the bobcat and the coyote leaves us in awe of nature's intricacies and the constant struggle for sustenance in the wild. Speaking of the struggle for sustenance in the wild, take a look at this next footage. The clip starts with the glowing eyes of a coyote which seems to be in search for a possum hiding just beneath the rock. The possum knows this too and knows that walking into the line of sight of the coyote can spell ultimate doom for it. I can only imagine how scared the possum is and what could possibly be going through its mind. Whatever it is, we may never know, but through its actions we see this is definitely not its first rodeo. Just as the coyote prepares to strike, the possum vanishes. However, upon closer examination of the footage, two eyes can be seen deep within the rock. Unable to see and possibly smell, the coyote moves in the wrong direction and the footage ends. A part of me wants to believe that the possum actually escaped, but then again, this is the wild. I wouldn't be surprised if the coyote ended up finding and consumed it. It's sad, yes, but that's the circle of life in the wild at least. Have you ever seen a bear eat? If you answered no, then perhaps you would find this capture interesting. In the image, we see a black bear standing on its hind legs, its ears turned backwards in an intriguing pose. What captures our curiosity is the red fabric tied to a tree branch swaying tantalizingly in the breeze. It becomes evident that someone with skill and knot tying expertise secured the food to the tree. There is no way an ordinary knot could withstand the full weight of a bear. Whoever was responsible for this must have possessed scouting knowledge as their knot tying technique remains intact, resisting the bear's attempts to undo it. As the bear indulges in its newfound delight, crumbs of food cascade to the ground, offering a glimpse into its voracious appetite. There are no signs of the bear returning to all fours anytime soon as it remains engrossed in its feast. As much as we'd love to see a video, I guess this image will have to do for now. And remember, as cute as this footage looks, never ever approach a bear in the wild or it might just be the last thing you do. Next, we have another beautiful yet mysterious picture right here. As you can see, it's an image of the forest in the dead of night with a glowing orb sitting on the root of a tree. Although glowing orbs represent all things supernatural, when I hear glowing orb and see beautiful images like these, I like to think of angels and maybe what heaven might be like if it's real. But do you think this is what this is? Some kind of glowing creature or a portal? Share your thoughts or experiences with us in the comments section. This person was walking a path in the woods when he came across this apparition. It looks like a person in dark clothes from head to toe. The entity appears as a figure dressed entirely in dark clothing. The entity was spotted near an old abandoned castle. Such locations are known for really severe hauntings that lead to death or madness. It appears that the individual unknowingly ventured into dangerous territory and the entity manifested to deliver a warning. But perhaps that's just me. What do you see? For our penultimate video, we step away from the supernatural and enjoy some cuteness. Take a look at this footage captured by a trail cam set up in the wild. We see a mother bear and her cubs marching in the woods to either seek shelter for the night or get themselves some dinner. 
Mother bears are extremely protective of their cubs. Despite their adorable appearance, it's crucial to remember that encountering a mother bear and her cubs could be extremely dangerous. Thanks to trail cams, however, you can enjoy such encounters without having to be close to them. Deer fall prey to almost all predators in the wild, so they are constantly on the run. With their dangerous antlers sticking out of their heads, bumping into one of them will certainly hurt, and in more serious situations, end quite brutally. Imagine riding at top speed on your favorite mountain, only to be hit by a deer from nowhere. This biker didn't have to. He lived it. A deer crashed into him at top speed, which sent him tumbling into a ditch. The deer, on the other hand, fell by the road. We can't tell how injured it is, but with a crash like that, we can guess pretty badly. The biker would also not go home without a scratch. I don't know, but I believe this should serve as a warning to us humans when we venture into territories that do not belong to us. As beautiful as nature is, we cannot deny that there is still some questionable things that lurk in the darkness. This footage from a trail cam captured something unexpected, as you can see. A wolf is walking by in the trail cam in the dead of night. That's nothing unusual, right? Well, then tell me why there's a dark mass with a pair of glowing eyes in the darkness moving behind the fox. What in the world is that? There's no way it's another creature like the black bear. They don't just appear and disappear like that. Some may say it's the result of operating the camera in a low-light environment, but, well, I, I don't believe it. Something is definitely out there. I may not be able to tell what, but I do believe it's waiting for the right time to strike. The literal start to most horror movies is people camping out in the woods, but for some odd reason we are yet to get the memo. This group of campers were having the time of their lives in the woods, lounging around a fire when one of them decided she needed to find a place to attend. Um, you know, nature's call. The rest of the camping crew stayed put, understanding the need for privacy in such situations. They even engaged in a discussion about how long was too long. Minutes had passed, and they began to get worried because she'd been gone for way too long. As they ventured out in search of their friend, an airy cry pierced the air, sending shivers down their spines. The alarmed campers ran into the woods in search of the friend, but found something that left them all petrified. In the heart of the woods, they stumbled upon a peculiar structure resembling a hut constructed from twigs and small tree branches. As they approached for a closer look, they noticed a presence within the structure. They moved closer, and in an instant, a creature burst out of the small hut, pursuing them. Let's take a closer look, but in slow-mo. Did you see that? It's a humanoid creature with four arms, two on each side, with one stacked on top of the other, resembling what the legs of a spider would look like if they were human. This is crazy. What kind of creature could that be? Well, we can't definitely say, but it doesn't align with any of our known paranormal creature profiles. Within the paranormal community, there are individuals who suspect the entire incident might be a hoax. I mean, if they dropped the camera with the creature, how did they retrieve it? And what's with the hands looking almost rubbery, almost like a bodysuit? While these are valid questions, it could simply be us looking for a way to disprove the footage. For the first time in a long time, we find ourselves genuinely perplexed as the verdict could swing in either direction. Perhaps you could clear the air. What do you think about the whole thing? Real or fake? Tell us in the comment section. For our next footage, we travel all the way to Minnesota, where a man who was on his way to fish came across a Bigfoot which left the footprints you are seeing on your screen. While in the middle of the river, casting his fishing line, he caught a glimpse of a massive creature emerging from the water and disappearing into the woods. He turned to take a good look at the beast, and behold, there stood the creature of legend staring at him, a Bigfoot. His heart raced and his hands trembled. He was sure the Bigfoot was the last thing he'd see. But something unusual happened. The creature stood, 
stared at him, and then ran into the woods. Just like that, the fear left him, and he went in pursuit of the creature. His curiosity had overtaken his sense of fear. He wanted evidence, something to validate what he'd just seen. But by the time he got there, the creature was far gone. The only evidence left was its footprints. The unnatural size of these tracks was enough to prove he'd met the cryptid, and many believe him. Do you? Take a look at a similar situation. This domestic goat was caught unaware by its owner walking on two feet. Goats sometimes stand on their two feet, so why is this any different? Well, although goats do stand, they don't stand as long as this did or move in that eerie fashion it did. The goat took familiar steps, carefully moving hoof by hoof as a human would. The goat's movements looked like it was in some kind of a trance, almost as if it was possessed. Not only that, but it seems to have enchanted the cock following right behind. Could that goat be possessed, or are we once again overthinking things? Share your thoughts with me. Next, we have this bizarre footage of two young boys exploring the woods. They might have gone out to seek an adventure and thrill, but what they encountered was way beyond anything they could have imagined. Confused? Watch the clip. Did you see that? Yes, that's a naked man moving in a very odd and strange way with fire set to his left. The man's movements take on a ritualistic nature as he proceeds to lift an animal skull over his head. However, the man eventually notices the young boys locking eyes with them. Filled with fear, the boys hastily flee from the scene. If this is real, it would have been quite scary, and if it were me, I wouldn't have wasted any time in there, because who knows how many of them there could have been. Yet, a part of me remains skeptical, questioning the authenticity of the footage considering it was posted by a YouTuber seemingly seeking views. At least, those are my personal thoughts, but what are yours? Something to laugh about, and yes, you are seeing right. It's NBA Wildlife Edition. Looks like LeBron James is a challenger. These deer were captured on a trail camp set up in the woods. One seems to have a basketball stuck in its antlers. While it may look adorable, we can only imagine the impact on its neck. If you live near wildlife, try to be a little more responsible with your items, not just for your sake, but for theirs as well. Next, we revisit a trail cam footage from 2019. The trail cam footage captures a mysterious glowing object in the background. Upon viewing the footage, experts unanimously agree that there must be a living entity in the background, an entity seemingly aware of being observed and exercising caution. While some speculate it could be a bear or firefly, members of the paranormal community hold a different conviction. They postulate the existence of a creature concealed amidst the trees in the background, with the glowing lights potentially being its eyes reflecting the light. Analyzing the video, however, you can tell those trees are not short, and that if there is indeed a creature hiding there, it's a ginormous one, probably seven to eight feet tall with dark fur to match. Some suggest a gorilla, but there's no way there's a gorilla that tall. Only one creature remains to fit the bill. A Bigfoot. While conclusive evidence of Bigfoot's existence remains elusive, the possibility of encountering these unknown creatures or cryptids is not impossible. What do you think, though? Are we dealing with the Bigfoot, or are we seeing things that are not there? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Next, we have this trail cam that caught something mysterious. The footage captures a small black creature moving with such carefulness that it exudes an aura of mystery. When I first viewed the footage, a part of me held on to the hope of witnessing another extraordinary paranormal creature in action. However, the truth is far from fantastical. It's actually a Black Panther. And by Black Panther, I don't mean Wakanda forever, even though that would be nice. I'm referring to the majestic, all-black furred big cat. In case you didn't know, Black Panthers are melanistic jaguars or leopards. This means that they are jaguars or leopards, which were born with darker coloring than the contemporaries. In jaguars, the gene is dominant, whereas in leopards, it's recessive. 
That being said, encountering a black panther is an exceptionally rare occurrence. However, for the owner, having this creature captured on the trail cam was an incredibly exciting experience. As beautiful as these creatures are, do not be deceived. They can be equally dangerous. If you ever saw one in the wild, you'd be better off staying away from it. Next, we have dash cam footage from a lady who states she encountered something sinister in the woods. But don't take our word for it. Watch the video. As you observe the footage, you'll notice that visually nothing significant occurs. But pay close attention to the eerie sounds emanating from the background. Drawing from the research conducted by my team and me, if the sound does not correspond to that of an animal, it's highly probable that it possesses a paranormal nature. These sounds could potentially be attributed to either a banshee or a skinwalker, both formidable creatures known for luring humans with their piercing cries. Just as we believed we had unraveled the mystery, a team member astutely pointed out a discrepancy. The lady claimed the footage was captured by a dash cam, yet the camera appears to be moving around, which defies all expectations. If you're familiar with dash cams, you'll know that they are typically fixed in place. Just like that, we started to doubt the credibility of the footage. But what do you think? Could this be an honest mistake, or are we dealing with fake footage from someone trying to get their five minutes of fame? Let us know in the comments section. Could we really be looking at a family of Bigfoot? Many Bigfoot fanatics seem to think so, but is that really the case? This footage was sent in by one of the Bigfoot fanatics, and he believes he's captured an entire family of Bigfoot. At first glance, it looks like you're watching a group of monkeys lazing around until they stand on their two legs and begin to walk off into the woods. It then becomes very evident that the creatures are much taller and hairier than any known monkey species. The proportions of their arms and legs are just like ours, but they're covered head to toe in fur. Could it be Sasquatches? Bigfoot hunters everywhere are sure to be buzzing about this video, and for good reason. If this is the real deal, could there be an entire colony of these mysterious creatures hiding from human eyes? Tell us what you think. This next footage is quite odd. Unlike the other deer we've seen and will see in today's footage, this deer happens to be doing something rather odd and strange. A hunter was walking through the woods when he caught sight of the deer stiff and standing in the middle of the woods. He tried scaring it off and poking it with his arrow, but the deer did not blink. It wasn't until the man struck the antlers of the deer that the deer awoke up from whatever trance it was stuck in and fled immediately. What was that? Was that a glitch in the Matrix? The answer is no, and it had nothing to do with aliens or physical trauma either. The buck was simply scared and engaged its survival strategy known as frozen in place or freezing in place. I wanted to believe it was possessed, but apparently there is a science that disproves it. Yay, science. Now take a close look at this footage. You can see a pair of wings flapping on a green field. A deer rushes to the spot with flapping wings and suddenly attacks whatever bird that is. With no context, you start wondering, what's going on here? A few seconds after, a little rabbit runs out from that very spot and becomes evident that the deer had actually gone to save the life of the rabbit. There was actually no reason for the deer to put itself in harm's way, but it did. Could there have been an existing bond between the animals, or was it merely a function of coincidence? That's a question for the forest gods. For our next footage, we travel back in time to 2001. The following footage was captured at a youth camp located in the Marble Mountains, an area renowned for numerous Bigfoot sightings. During their stay at the campsite, the group stumbled upon a cave constructed from substantial tree branches and leaves. Intriguingly, the trees surrounding the area bore prominent claw marks. While exploring the vicinity, their attention was drawn to a creature descending from the distant mountain ridge. If the creature was human, it would be hard to spot from that distance, but this one was very visible. This left the campus believing that it had to be very big and tall. Considering the region's well-established reputation for Bigfoot encounters, the campers reached a firm conclusion. They had indeed laid eyes on a Bigfoot. 
Watch this zoomed-in footage. You should see that although it's walking as humans do, it's clearly not human. I mean, pay close attention to its body proportions as well. It's also definitely much bigger and taller than a human would be. What do you think, though? Next, we have this Google Maps image that may have actually captured a ghost. I know it sounds like a stretch, but take a look at this picture. Right behind the tree, you can see a pale figure appearing out. Upon zooming in, the image reveals the unmistakable pale face of a young girl. Speculation suggests that the girl likely met her demise at the location years ago and returned to haunt the area coinciding with the time when Google captured the images. Nevertheless, there are those who argue that the figure merely represents a living little girl. According to the viewpoint, the girl has tragically passed away since the picture was taken, effectively transforming her into a ghost. Alternatively, skeptics argue that the image could be the result of skillful photoshopping. But what say you? This still was captured by a trail cam. In it, we see a huge ape-like creature moving in the direction of the trail cam. Cloaked in dark fur from head to toe, the creature emanates an air of mystery. The sheer size and presence of this mysterious being sends chills down our spine, evoking both awe and trepidation. As if its formidable size wasn't intimidating enough, the creature seems to be exhibiting signs of agitation. It exudes an aura of either provoked hostility or innate aggression. Either way, it's certainly not a creature you would love to meet during your time out in the woods. However, it's also plausible that this could be a person donning an incredibly realistic Bigfoot costume. If that's the case, it would undoubtedly rank amongst the most convincing in existence. While we don't believe it's a fabrication, even if it were, it wouldn't undermine the multitude of evidence suggesting the existence of Bigfoot and the existence of countless other extraordinary creatures in the unexplored depths of the woods. Stepping away from all the aggression, let's move on to something that's quite frankly odd and eerie looking. Caught on camera is a peculiar white and pale, ghostly-looking creature that moves slightly to its side and back to its original state. It has arms and legs resembling that of a human, but eyes as large as those you'd expect to see on an alien. Taking in all its features, it bears a haunting resemblance to the infamous rake that at times walks on its fours, giving an illusion of a crawling figure. In a realm dominated by stories of Bigfoot, vampires, werewolves, and shapeshifters, this footage reveals something truly otherworldly. As you can see from the footage, the creature is in no way trying to hide, and many who have seen it have reported it to the authorities. Some have even reported missing on nights when it's been seen. Despite the reports and officers assigned to the case, nothing substantial has come up. It's almost as though it's only seen when it allows it to be. Next, we have a creature whose mere presence is disputed by science and all things logical. Don't believe us? Watch the footage. Did you see it? The footage was captured by a man who believes the creature you are seeing on your screens to be a chupacabra. With its hairless skin, the eyes that glow in the dark, we can understand his sentiments. In the footage, the animal is busy searching for food as it scavenges through the trash. Once it notices it's under the watchful gaze of all the humans around it, it becomes cautious. It doesn't look like any known animal species, which left the townspeople scared and questioning the competence of local authorities. Looking at the pictures and all the horrible stories surrounding chupacabras, we don't blame them. As much as we'd love for this to be a real-life chupacabra, it turns out it's not. According to experts, it's nothing more than a very sick raccoon which has lost its hair. Could this be an attempt to cover the whole thing up? Or is that what hairless raccoons look like? Tell us what you think in the comments section. Thankfully, these collars have helped keep them alive and save the population that was on the decline. Ever heard of having a face only a mother could love? This baby bird looks like the embodiment of that phrase. But that is only because it's a hatchling and has a lot of growing up left to do. Babies don't really have the biggest stomachs, and that applies to this baby bird as well. 
Mama Pajaro, which is Spanish for Mama Bird, appears to be feeding her chick a dead lizard. As the little one carefully consumes his meal, she keeps an eye on his every move like every good mother would. Once it was time for Junior to do his business, Mama Pajaro was there in a flash to catch his waist and fly it far away from their cozy nest. Is it gross? Well, yes. But when it comes to responsibility, you just can't be picky. We can't have a dirty nest now, can we? Not only will that be totally unhygienic, but it would also make it easier for predators to pick up their scents. My first impression of this video was that it was disgusting and very disturbing, but on second thought, if the video is proof of anything, it's that the love for our family, especially our young ones, is not the only thing we have in common with these animals. Mama Pajaro proved that hygiene is just as important to these animals as it is to us, even if it involves taking the diaper out with your mouth. If animals in the wild are this fastidious, why aren't our pets doing the same? Maybe it's time we take a cue from the birds and challenge the cleanliness games of our pets. This next footage is something else. A cameraman was filming what looked like a monkey in the woods, but things quickly took a terrifying turn. The creature, which appeared to be a monkey at first glance, suddenly spotted the cameraman and began chasing after him. The cameraman's shaky footage makes it hard to get a clear look, but one thing is for sure, this is no ordinary monkey. The creature moves with an eerie swiftness on all fours, with legs that seem almost human but not quite upright. And if the cameraman's reaction is anything to go by, it's clear that this creature is something to be feared. Could it be the famed dogman known to lurk in those woods waiting to pounce on unsuspecting prey? Could it be another Bigfoot sighting? Or could it simply be an ape encounter that has been exaggerated? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section. A deer hunter in Virginia caught footage of a little creature snooping about in the hunting areas on his trail camp. The hunter was a little spooked by the image, so he called in the Sasquatch experts to have a look at it. Yes, there is such a thing as a Sasquatch expert. The image was taken prior to the hunting season when hunters set up their trail cams to gather footage of deer within their hunting areas. The owner picked up the footage expecting something like the usual, only to see this brown bear-like creature that shares some resemblance with Bigfoot or Bigfoot-like creatures that look like bears. It's a matter of perspective, really. The dark-furred creature appears to have its back facing the camera. At first glance, it looks like a chimp or even a bear cub. But this hunter believes that it might be a Sasquatch, as others like to call it Bigfoot. The mystery deepens as even the experts scratch their heads over the strange creature caught on the Virginia Hunter's trail camp. Is it a chimp, a bear cub, or could it possibly be a juvenile Bigfoot? The dog fur and odd proportions have left everyone stumped. It could also be a hybrid of these suspected animals. The hunter had never seen anything like it in all his years of tracking deer, and now he was left wondering what else might be lurking in the woods. One thing is for sure, this little creature has everyone on edge and questioning what other secrets the forest might be hiding. Have a look. Do you see it? It's red skin and what looks like horns on its head. Many in the paranormal community who first saw this image believed it was a very rare capture of a demon. After a few days of examining the footage, however, they concluded it was fake and stated that someone was trying to mess with the community. If there's one thing about the paranormal community, it's that they don't take hoaxes lightly and they threw it out. Personally, I can see why they think that it's fake, although I do believe demons are real. It looks like a CGI creation which could have fooled me if I was not exposed to the subject already. But what do you think? Could this be real or is it fake? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Next, we have this trail cam capture of a creature that looks like a Komodo dragon. If you know anything about Komodo dragons, it's that they have found in dry open grassland, savanna, and tropical forest of low elevations. With long, sharp claws for grasping prey and digging burrows, they possess an extraordinary sense of smell that can detect carrion from several kilometers away. While we know Komodo dragons are big lizards, the creature you are seeing on your screen is possibly much larger than even the largest of the Komodo dragons ever recorded, and that's not the wildest thing about the image. The wildest thing is in the small details. If you take a closer look at the footage, you'll realize that the Komodo dragon is climbing a tree. Now, you might be thinking, well, so what's the big deal? Well, let me break it down for you. 
Young Komodo monitors often seek refuge in trees, spending their lives elevated to minimize the risk of becoming a tasty snack for adult Komodo dragons who view them as potential prey. If we follow this line of reasoning, it leads us to speculate that the Komodo dragon in question, which I initially referred to as a colossal creature, is actually a juvenile. If this is indeed a young dragon, just imagine the kind of dragons that inhibit the woods when the trail cam footage was captured. Could it be that the environment fosters the growth of creatures larger than their usual counterparts, or are we overthinking the whole situation? Perhaps dealing with a cleverly crafted fake? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. In this age of incessant internet sharing, we encounter a man braving the night armed with nothing but a flashlight and a camera, driven to capture a remarkable moment. What unfolds before him is a swift creature lurking behind what appears to be a white fence. As with any viral sensation, speculations abound. Some skeptics suggest it could be one of the man's mischievous friends dressed up as a creature aiming to play a prank. However, the comments section is a realm of unbridled imagination, where theories take flight. Some propose that this enigmatic being could be the notorious Dogman or even a throwback to a creature from a classic Scooby-Doo movie. But let's pause and reflect. Should we believe everything we encounter online? Could this be yet another instance of cryptids, creatures existing on the fringes of our knowledge? Or perhaps, dear reader, you have ventured beyond the realms of us mere mortals, ready to embark on a daring adventure to unveil the true nature of this mysterious creature. Yet, let us not dismiss the possibility that this might be an intricately crafted ruse, an elaborate hoax designed to deceive and captivate. But what do you personally think? Have you ever seen a saint? Oh, wait, allow me to rephrase that. Have you ever seen a being glow in such a serene and angelic form that you can't help but believe he or she is a saint? If you haven't, consider yourself lucky because we have footage recorded by a man who encountered something glowing atop a tree. He brought out his camera to film and saw it was not a thing, but rather a person. It was a shocking sight, but it frightened him even more. After all, it seems incredibly strange for a person, let alone a woman, to approach such a location and remain completely motionless. Some religious individuals might claim that she is none other than Mary, the mother of Jesus, making an appearance on Earth. In fact, some who saw the footage called it a miracle. Yet there are so many things that make it look like a well-orchestrated prank. For starters, there's no trace of the man who captured the footage. He simply uploads the video and seemingly disappears without trace. Beyond that, the woman looks like a poor attempt at making realistic CGI, making it blend weirdly with the rest of the footage. Could this be an elaborate hoax? Well, we think it is, but what do you think? Tell us in the comments section. Next, we travel to Oklahoma in 2011, where a group of boys are out in the woods having a good time. While out there in the woods, they shoot a video showing their viewers how to prepare for some of their favorite delicacies when they go out camping. Two days later, however, someone points out something eerie in the footage. Upon close observation of the footage, you'll notice something or someone darting across the frame in the background. All who saw it believed that the creature or whatever it had had fur all around and moved like a human does. Given the fact that part of Oklahoma is popular for Bigfoot sightings, all who saw it believed the boys had an encounter with Bigfoot and didn't even realize it. But what if it's not a Bigfoot? What if it's something more sinister? What if they genuinely missed an encounter with something or someone deadly and were quite fortunate to still be alive? Well, thankfully, that's something we may never have to know. Wolves are popular for many things, but not many know that they're actually very good at fishing. The beautiful thing about trail cameras is that they capture things that we would otherwise not see, such as this footage. I mean, look at how the wolf graciously catches his fish. He stalks the fish and at the right moment uses lightning-fast reflexes to snatch its prey from the water. And just like that, its protein needs for the day are sorted out. 
I don't recommend it, but for a fox, there's nothing more fun than taking a midnight stroll and climbing some trees. These two foxes look to be having the time of their lives as they happily jump onto the trunk of the tree and climb off. One of the joys of being nocturnal is the fact that nobody disturbs your alone times. Thank God for this trail cam footage, though. They make it easy to observe some of the things that we may have never seen. Love is a beautiful thing, not just for humans, but for animals as well. And these panthers know it, at least until the mating season is over. In this trail cam footage, we see a female Florida panther calling out to her partner. Men have the habit of disappearing when they're needed, and it looks like it's something that's not mutually exclusive to the human species alone. Where had a lover gone? We never found out. There's one thing we could be sure about, though. He was not cheating, as he somewhat had a monogamous arrangement with the female panther, and we confirm this in the next trail cam footage. We see the lovebirds, or rather, panthers, moving together in this shot, and the female panther is neither complaining nor nagging. Seems all is well, and the two have no qualms, which is just how couples should be. But what is that odd collar around the male panther's neck? The first thing that came to mind when I saw it was the X-Men collar that dampens the power of mutants. But thankfully, this isn't one of those. Instead, it's a marvelous piece of technology that helps track the male panthers to make sure they're good and safe. Believe it or not, male panthers are at a higher risk of injury or death compared to their female partners, which is another trait they share with their counterparts in the human species. Did you see that? The footage was apparently taken by a trail cam in the woods. In the footage, we see a creature rummaging through the forest, diligently clearing any sticks or branches obstructing its path. A look at the creature reveals it's part human and part goat, akin to a Greek satyr. A person without knowledge of Roman mythology will call this creature Goatman, which although a human-goat hybrid is slightly different. But as much as we'd like to believe we're looking at a real footage, it's evident it's not. I mean, the individual didn't even try to make it real. Since when could trail cameras follow individuals around? The editing is real, and the costume is obviously not real either. The footage upset the paranormal community a lot, and for the first time, I'm upset with them. As much as we love our paranormal footage, no one loves to feel insulted by fake videos. This spine-chilling footage was captured by a night shift factory worker going about his duties when he stumbled upon something truly extraordinary. The worker noticed peculiar movements and quickly decided to film this enigmatic scene. In the footage, we witness orbs of light gliding through the darkness, moving in a strangely coordinated manner. To the worker's amazement, these ethereal orbs take the form of an enigmatic being, seemingly invincible and walking on two legs. Orbs of light have been long associated with paranormal and supernatural events, sparking various beliefs and theories about their origin and significance. Some interpretations suggest that these orbs might embody spirits or energy entities dancing in the unseen realms. Looking at this footage, we're tempted to believe this, but what do you think? To conclude today's trail camp collection, we present footage of the elusive and charming kiwis. These unique birds are often considered more akin to mammals due to their inability to fly. Unlike most birds, kiwis lay eggs and their chicks hatch fully feathered, defying the norms of traditional avian development. As nocturnal beings, they seek refuge in burrows and build their nests there. Their poor eyesight keeps them hidden during the day, and they emerge under the veil of night to scurry in search of their favorite meals, worms, and insects. Unfortunately, the journey to adulthood for kiwi chicks is fraught with peril, facing high mortality rates with only a few managing to survive to maturity. This grim reality has pushed kiwis to the brink of extinction, making encounters with these charming creatures increasingly rare and treasured. Despite their limited eyesight, Kiwis have developed other extraordinary traits to navigate their world. Their sense of hearing is exceptionally sharp, serving as a vital defense mechanism and guide during their nocturnal escapades. Additionally, their powerful claws provide them with a means of survival, aiding them in times of danger and ensuring their ability to adapt to their environment. Did you know about these birds before today? Tell us in the comments section. And with that, we conclude today's episode. See you in the next one.